Hey everyone, Miss Mo here. Today we're going to be playing a game called X-Ray Vision. It's on your this week's lesson packet for um, math this week. So for this activity, you're going to need number cards and that's it. <laughs> um, it's a really simple activity. You don't need anything too crazy for it. Those of you that have been working with us, we made number cards in one of the weeks prior. So you can use those or you can make new ones. Just to give you an idea, there's three different types of number cards that you'll, you can use depending on your child's level and you'll realize right away when you start playing with them which one they're going to need. So for those older students, you can have just the numerals, just the numbers. They should know one through at least five. <laughs> they may know one through ten as well and could write them. Then there's the number cards that have the number and the correlating number of dots with it in a ten frame to help your child if they don't know what that number is they can count the dots and be like oh that's the number four there's four dots one two three four okay four the next one is for the younger students that aren't really um they don't know their numerals yet like what the actual numbers look like so they have just the dot cards okay and i would recommend using these because <laughs> they can use the dots and see the number so they'll learn the numerals that way so how this game works is that I would start with just one through five. Really simple, have your cards, lay them out on a table or on the floor in front of you. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. And do this with your child. Have them count with you when they put the cards out just like this. Then you're gonna tell them like, okay, we need to have x-ray vision because we're gonna flip these over and hide the numbers, but they're gonna stay in the same order, one through five. I'm gonna point to a card or call out a number and you have to tell me which one you think it is, okay? Or if I point to it, you'll tell me what number is underneath, okay? Using your x-ray vision. So then you're gonna have your students, your child, <laughs> flip the cards over just like this, keep them in the same order. So that um, you don't want to you don't want to trick them. This is to see whether your child can count from memory in order and whether they can recognize the numbers in order and where they're supposed to be. And it also helps build their memory skills um, so they can remember where those things were. Those are good cognitive skills for your child to learn. Okay, now to make it a little more fun. <laughs> Miss Mo has x-ray vision goggles that I'm going to wear to help me see through these cards and see what number it is. So once they're all flipped over, you can go, all right, what do you think, what number is under this card? You have to use your x-ray vision. Shh. All right, well, I remember numbers go in order. So I go one, two, three, four. That's four underneath there. Should we see if I'm right? Oh, Miss Mo is right. <laughs> Good, so that's an example, and you put it right back where it is. Another way to do this game would be to, you can roll a die, a dice, um, some dice, and see like, all right, that one's six, so where would six be in this, okay? So there's a couple different ways you can play it, have fun with it, to challenge your child, once they seem like they get one through five, do one through 10 next, and have them put the cards out in order and flip them over, okay? It helps them remember what numbers are where, okay? Hope you guys have fun with x-ray vision. 